Oh, sure they're, they're pretty. Why do you need that then? Why? Because we need new stairs. These look perfectly stable. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. In today's video, we're gonna be taking out these old worn out stairs and rebuilding them. Uh, hopefully uh, stronger, sturdier, and I'll take you along with me. So let's get these old ones out and then we'll start the rebuilding process. I'll go over all the materials that I've got. It's supposed to be pretty straightforward, so we'll see how we do. All right, so to get started, I mean, I'm just really gonna start taking these out. Um, as you can see, lots of this wood is rotted through and it's time for some new stairs that aren't so much of a hazard. Oh, they're pretty. Why? Because we need new stairs. Okay, so getting the stairs out wasn't too hard. Um, I just got my backpack lower. I'm gonna blow off some of this extra dirt. I do have a review of the backpack lower coming pretty soon. I just haven't really had much time to use it, so I didn't really have enough um, usage out of it to form a, a conclusion on how much I liked it or not. So essentially what we're doing is I've got a span of about 63 inches that I'm gonna that I want to cover. Now the old steps did not go all the way to the end. These new ones I would like to go all the way to at least here and then we'll install another railing if on this not on this side on this side to match the existing one. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Now to attach these, I couldn't find hangers for these stringers. Um, none of our hardware stores local to me had any. Uh, we're gonna be using these and I'm just gonna bend these and we'll just put one on either side and that'll give us enough strength to attach these. So like I said, I've got that one there. I've got this one here on the right side. That's gonna go about there. This one on the left, I'm going to put right about here. And then we'll find our halfway point in the middle and line this one up there. So rough, rough layout, this is how it's gonna be. We'll get all of these attached and then I've got a two by 12 that I'm gonna cut to go across these. Okay, so again, these are gonna go here. Now we'll get this lined up here.
Okay, so I don't have exact measurements. Um, we're redoing these stairs for my mom, and she doesn't really have a preference on how how wide the steps are, how narrow they are. So we're going to just go with what we have. I've got a 10 foot section of two by 12, and I'm gonna try to get all three steps out of that. Now, realistically, that would mean that each step would be a little over three feet each. And if we look here, three feet, is really only like this long. So we're just gonna go up to here and that is from here to here. It's about 53 inches. So I'm gonna set this brace. set our stringer up against here. Like that. And I may have run myself into an issue here. Yeah, okay. One second. We've got just the thing. All right, so I got this a few months back as a Christmas gift. It's a DeWalt right angle attachment. So we'll load it into the impact, load our bit here. And what we normally would not have been able to reach with, we can now reach. All right. Takes a little getting used to. this last bolt, this last screw to secure it. And I apologize if the angle's hard to see. I don't have, I don't have anyone filming for me. So well, there's, there's that. So it's a little hard to imagine it right now, but those are our two, our two stringers on our outside. We'll find our center point, mount the third stringer. Okay, so we've got 53, 53 and a quarter. So we'll bust out our handy dandy calculator. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna take our center point that we marked here in our center point on our stringer. Line these up. And this is where it will go. So just like that, you grab one of these braces. Again, I'm not a professional. I don't believe you should take the stuff that I'm doing in this video as construction advice or anything like that. I'm just doing what I can with what I have. because it was binding in the middle. Oh, that's going down? Yeah. So 
So there's the first step. There's that. How is this? Well, the overhang's not a big deal. You can stand on it. Now we didn't get enough um, two by 12 because if we had done three feet each, yeah. it would have only been like this big. Yeah. I wanted them to be a little bit bigger, so I'm probably gonna do two by sixes at the bottom. I want to Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sure. step number two and like I was mentioning our third step is likely going to be from two by sixes um, I'll probably just join them together Yeah, because I wanted to make these longer. Yep. There's a rooster, though. There is a rooster. He has no clue what time it is. Ever. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. It was a pretty easy build. It took me, I don't know, maybe two, three hours to do the whole thing, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, learned some things along the way. If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, comment down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video. It really helps my videos get pushed to other people who might not be subscribed. And uh, while we're talking about subscribing, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. But that's going to do it for this one. We'll see you in the next one.